Well, hey crafty friends and happy Tuesday to you if you're watching this live. I hope you're having a wonderful day. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a super cute Valentine's Day banner that is so easy and it's going to be made with some sheet music, some of these little paper bags, some of these Dollar Tree whoops, hearts, wood hearts, um, some jute, well this is actually polished hemp, a little bit of ribbon, and this adorable uh, Valentine's Day stencil. So I think you're going to really like it as you're hopping on. Say hello. Um, feel free to ask questions along the way. I would love it if you would sprinkle. I am planning to give this project away to one person who sprinkles. So I'll choose that person tomorrow. Um, so if you're watching um, this video, um, feel free to sprinkle this to your social media to get your name in my hat. Okay, this is one of those projects where it's hard to know where to start, but let's start with the paper bags. Okay, there's two different things that I'm doing with these, and this is what it looks like. Hello Hobby Paper Bags. They came from Walmart. And I don't remember exactly what I paid for them because it's been a little while. But you could use a regular paper bag, a grocery bag, or you could use some a roll of brown craft paper. Uh, except we are, this is what these look like. They're like a little envelope almost. Okay, so we're going to do two th different things. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make some hearts that we're going to do an adorable design on and we're gonna stuff. I love stuffing things. Okay, so I basically just drew a heart and then I traced it over and over and over. And to do a heart that's gonna be symmetrical, just fold your whatever in half, then sketch what you want to, what the shape you want for your heart. And then I just used a pencil and then I'm, I'm literally just going to cut that out, and now I have a front and a back. Okay, so that's one thing that we're going to do with the paper bags, and then we're going to add some sheet music to that, and it's going to be super cute. Then we're also going to use these paper bags full size. And basically what we're going to do, let's see if I can come down a little bit further and not be completely crooked, we're just going to fold the top over just a, a tad. And I'm going to put one little blob of glue because I want to be able to scooch this on the, um, the polished hemp that we're going to be building it on. So I'm going to put one teeny little blob right at the very top just to tack this down. Okay, and the, it's, the jute is going to go through here, and we're going to decorate this. Okay, and then the other thing, well, I'll show you this, because I need to actually do this. Um, we're using some of these hearts, and I have three different styles. They came from Dollar Tree uh, just recently. I have this style. I have this style. And I have this style. And I'm using six, or I'm preparing six. I don't know if we'll need all six or not. Um, I'm a so you have more of you. Okay, so, and I know someone's going to ask me how long is my ribbon. So let me find my, let me find my, uh, whoops, let me find my uh, ruler. Okay, so I cut these all the same, and it's just about three inches long. And I'm just going to fold the ribbon over and tack it down on itself. And then I'm going to glue this right to the top of all of the different hearts. 
and this is the back that that will be the front and you can see how we'll be able to slide these around so the real fun part of this project is going to be the time when we start assembling it okay so um as far as the the bags go here's what they're going to look like ultimately And these are going to be flat, okay? So what I did in this instance was I took some sheet music and um, my sheet music that I'm working with today came from a trumpet, <laughs> a high school band music book. And um, I just picked, you know, up some random pages. Um, you can get these. I, I get this question all the time. Okay, you can find sheet music at thrift stores a lot of the times. You can find it at garage sales. You can sometimes find it online and you can order it. Sometimes you can find free sheet music images that you can print on your computer. Oh my word, look at all those stars already and I'm just getting started. Okay, this says activate a stars party. I still don't know exactly what that means, but um, I have five seconds left. Or maybe it's five seconds to start it. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, so you can find this at, at thrift stores, garage sales. But if you ask around, maybe your sister, your neighbor, um, your mom, a friend had a student who played an instrument and they still have that old sheet music kicking around. So it doesn't have to be anything fancy. And alternatively, it could also be um, some book pages or scrapbook paper. So I'm just going to fold this side in half and I'm using this as my pattern even though it is make sure, even though it is um, bigger than what I want. I'm going to just flip. So see I have my pattern, the outside part, just on here just gonna trace it and there's no right or wrong size or style of heart you can this is one of those projects that you can just sit down and start doing okay so I have that traced and I'm gonna cut in about half an inch all the way around maybe it's not quite half an inch I don't know exactly but I'll show you what I mean So see, I'm just cutting smaller than what I have traced. Okay, and this is what I got, and it's going to go on top of this. But we're going to stencil it, and we're going to do... Um, my favorite little dots and dashes uh, like this. So I've already gotten started on these two and we're going to do one more that can go with uh, this project and I think we'll do love. Make sure I don't have that already. Okay so I am this came, oh, this came from this year's 2022's Valentine's Minis. And you guys, these are such a good deal because you're going to get 12. 12 individual stencils that you can use on a lot of different things. Um, so this is just my example. But this is my actual set of 2022 Valentine Minis. And they do a new one every year. So this is what it looked like last year. And um, the great thing is you can just pull them out, use them during the season, put them away, pull them back out next year, use them during the season, put them away, pull them back out. So you get a, a ton of use with them. They're not one time only. Hey Denise, hi Pat, hey Sharon. We see lots of people on, so stay with me because this is gonna get so super cute. And if you want your name to go into my hat to possibly win this project. Um, all I'm asking is that you sprinkle, sprinkle this video. 
So we're using chalk paste. Um, and I need a squeegee. We're using black chalk paste. And I will put my love stencil on here and put it down, pushed it down, and I'm just gonna take a little blob of chalk paste. This won't, uh, this takes no time at all, and it won't take um, very much chalk paste either. So most of that I'm putting back in my jar. Okay, and I'm gonna close my little jar back up. And this is what it looks like. So I'm going to slowly pull this off. I have used this stencil a few times and I forgot to fuzz it. Bad me. Uh, but you can fuzz your stencils on a pair of jeans, on a fuzzing towel, on a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, anything that's low lit um, and that will uh, that will make them so they're not so sticky and you can get them up. And I'm awfully sorry about, about reaching into the camera just now twice, but my sister has called <laughs> twice. Okay, so this is what we get. And before I came live, I already did that right here. So it's dry. And what I wanna show you is how you do the dots and dashes and you guys, I know I say this every video and you're probably tired of it. If you don't own these yet, what, what are you waiting for? I love this set of pins. You get four ink and four chalk paste in black, white, gold, and silver. I, I use them on, <laughs> I feel like I use them on everything because I think they just add so much. Anyway, so I'm gonna just kind of go around the outside edge and do dot, 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 long line, dot, 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 long line, dot, 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 and you could do squiggly lines, you can do straight lines, you can do five dots, one dot, whatever you like, but look how much cuter it looks right now than it did without the little dots and dashes. Okay, so we'll let this dry for just a second. And um, here's one that's finished. I am just going to use regular hot glue, but I almost always use a low temperature hot glue gun. I have been burned one or 25 times too many. Um, so I'm using my Shirt Onder Cool Shot low temperature um, hot glue gun and uh, I'm just going to put a little bit around the edge, uh, the top of this to get it started. And then we're going to glue it onto our little folded bag. I'm going to glue the very bottom of it. And these have the spot where you can thread your jute through them. So uh, let's give this just a minute or so to dry and then I'll glue it on here. Okay, and I have all of these hearts ready. Um, okay, with the, what, the hearts that we just cut out of the bags, my idea was to just do two, I'm gonna put them on the very ends, and to do polka dots. I love polka dots. So I um, have those already prepared, whoops. Uh, but I just want to tell you what I did. I used the mini dot stencil. This comes, half of it is dots, and then there's another big section that's mini plaid. I just laid this on top of my front piece of heart, cut from the bag, used the black chalk paste, and um, da -da -da -da, the magic of television. No, not really. Um, so I just uh, stenciled these. Here's one that's a little bit further along that we're going to stuff. Thank you for sprinkling, Denise. Maybe you'll win this. Um, anyone else who wants to get their name in my hat, um, sprinkle. 
sprinkle this if you want to your social media. Okay, so these these strips are about four and a half inches. And it really doesn't matter how big they are. I just wanted the, the two to be exactly the same. So I have my little loop and I'm just gonna glue it to the top back piece of this heart right here. We're almost to the fun part where we assemble, so stay with me. Um, okay, so you could use, uh, these are the paper bags that I have. They came from Walmart in the craft section, but you could use absolutely any kind of paper bag for this project that you want, or alternatively, you could use some of this brown craft paper that you use for wrapping packages. And then I used sheet music <laughs> from my friend's son's trumpet uh, high school marching band. But you could use scrapbook paper, you could use a book, um, and there's lots of different places to get sheet music. So if you miss that, just when I finish, come back and watch from the beginning and, and you'll find out how. Okay, so this is dry. And I'm just going to add a little glue up at the top and join my two pieces. And then we're gonna glue down, but we're not gonna glue the whole same thing shut because we're gonna stop these. And I opted not to do dots and dashes on these because I feel like they're already pretty busy. Okay, um, so I'm just using some polyfill. Oops, I will leave this. And um, I, why don't you guys give me this nice tip to pull it apart before you use it into little pieces. And that makes it much easier to manipulate it inside whatever it is that you're stuffing because it's not all clumped together. Ooh, I didn't give myself very much room on that one to get my stuffing in. We're not gonna fill this super full. I just want it to have a little bit of volume. Okay, I have all the pieces almost finished and we're about to assemble, so stay with me. And um, if you want to get your name in my hat, to possibly win this project, um, just sprinkle this video to your social media, to your Facebook page, basically. Oops, well, that's not going in there now that I accidentally pulled it out. Now I see a little pucker. Okay, here's another tip. When your glue gun gets really gunky and yucky, you, you can use a dryer sheet and somehow, some way, that seems to work to clean the strings and the gunk off of your glue gun. Okay, and I have a little pucker where I did not get my glue in here, so I'm just gonna insert some, push it flat. Okay. Cut off the stuffing that wanted to come out right there. Okay, so here's one. And it's just sort of stuffed. It's not super full. We're going to stuff the other and then we're going to start assembling. And when I send this to whoever it's going to be going to, I probably will take it apart so I can lay all the pieces flat so they don't get crunched on the way to you. Uh, and then you can just refer back to this video if you want, wh whoever the winner is, if you want to put it back together the way I'm gonna do it now. Okay, that's good. So I have it stuffed, and now I'm just gonna put a little the glue around the bottom. And press it because I missed a spot. This is 
where this part of the project is where you can really get glue on your fingers and it's why I so fervently recommend that you use low temperature glue whenever possible. I already have enough problems with my hands. I have a terrible big crack that I've been treating like a lot of you guys suggested from one of my last videos. And then I just got over a pine cone sliver. <laughs> so I don't need glue, glue burns to go along with all that. Okay, so let's finish this part up. Uh, that's glued on, that's glued on. I need to glue this one on here and then we'll put it all together. And I opted to do this one in black and white, but oops, I started playing with this project in red. So I want to show you that because you could easily make this project in red if you wanted. Okay, so let me think, how do we want to do this? Um, this is my piece of polished hemp. You guys, I use this all the time. That's what it looks like. Natural polished hemp. It came from Walmart in the jewelry section, in the jewelry crafting section on the very bottom shelf. And what I like about it is that it is polished. Oh gosh, you could even add black beads to this, but we're not going to because I don't have them out. Um, it's polished, so it's easier to get uh, your project to go through it. Your beads or whatever you might be doing. So wait, this one did, I think I'm gonna do this one as a center. I always start at the center and then I build out. Okay, and maybe, maybe I would wait and glue this down after you already had your, let's pull it apart. So I can get my jute through there. Okay, now I'm gonna tack that down. So when I'm all finished, if you are interested in um, this adorable stencil, or the polka dot one, or the um, pins, or chalk paste, or anything else, just say, link in the comments, and I'll get it for you. Okay, next to that, I'm going to do um, some of these wood hearts that I glued the little loops to. do all of them right there. Make sure I have this going the correct way. So I made six of these. I'll hold this up in just a second and show you. And once you get it, you might want to use some glue to kind of tack it down. But this is how it's starting to come together. Okay, and then I'm going to do another one of these. Can I get my jute through this time? Probably not. I'm going to pull this one apart too. Rhonda, I'll get you a link just as soon as I'm done. Make sure I'm putting this on the right way. Especially if I'm going to glue it. to uh, go ahead and tack things down because it might not be planning to sit very nice. Um, I might do that. I also might add a few things to it. Okay, that's one side. The 
other side is going to have the three little wood hearts in the same order. You guys are so kind. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to open this one and just tack it back down. And then I'm going to put this piece on. I might just go ahead and tack everything down because it's going to kind of want to all get jumbled up together. So let's go to the center of the project. Let me tie a loop here. I love, absolutely love making banners, but I tell you what, it is, it can be hard sometimes. Okay, so I want to find out what the exact center is. And I want to, I'm going to uh, tack down this center piece to the jute. Then let's do the little stars. Let's spread them out so they're going to look good. And you could add beads to this. You could add ribbon. Um, I don't want to forget to show you this in red. So I'll do that in just a second. Okay, so I'm gonna ta I am gonna tack these down, and I will just fold this project up as carefully as possible when I mail it to the person whose name I pull. And it's already looking better now that the pieces aren't all sliding to the center. We've got in there. It's going to be a little blob. Okay, and then I'm going to tack this one down. And then I'll tack the end piece down as well. close up to the little heart. This is looking adorable already. Okay, let me show you this half. What do you think? Pretty good. So, um, I'm going to finish this up. If you want to stay and watch, <laughs> that's great. If not, if you want to hop off, I totally understand. Um, if you would like to get the links so that you can make any of these projects, um, just say link. And if you want your name to go in my hat for this project, um, just sprinkle this video to your social media. And what else? Um, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Because I don't mind answering questions. If you do this project, that's the other thing I wanted to tell you. If you end up making something similar to this, I would love to see pictures, and I have a group, that a crafting group that I've set up. It's called Dreamy DIY, and I set it up as a place where we can all get even more ideas. What's happening here? Um, 
and where we can share pictures of our crafts that we're making. So, um, put this this way. So if you if you do make this project, I'd love for you to share pictures of it over at Dreamy DIY. If you haven't joined that group yet, you can just type Dreamy DIY into the search bar here at Facebook, and then um, be sure to answer the questions. And that's really all there is to it. And then, as soon as you do that, click on the Photos button, and you can scroll through, I don't know how long I've had this group, a year or two, all the, the photos that have been shared, and there are so many good ideas. Wait, what's going on here? I guess I'm just doing this one. No, I sure did not. Let me fix this. And you can see what it kind of would look like. Oh my gosh, let me show you the red before I forget. Here it is. So I started this project thinking that I wanted to do red as the accent. And what I did was I painted six of these little pieces using this Waverly Chalk Crimson Acrylic Paint Matte Finish No Prep from Walmart. This is a great red. It's um, matte, and it's called Crimson. So I just painted all my little heart pieces, and then I started making some of my little stuffed hearts, and I used red chalk paste and a ribbon that had um, the red hearts on it. So it was essentially going to be just what I just did in black and white, but with a red theme. And um, so you could totally vary this project. Also. I want to give you a quick sneak peek at what I'm working on right now. Next, and we're not going to do Valentine's Day every single day between now and Valentine's Day, so don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to do one more day of Valentine's this week, and then we'll do a lot of other kinds of projects. I like to mix things up all the time. Okay, so these were some of the big hearts that I purchased at Dollar Tree, and we're going to make this... Uh, this mix of um, multiple pieces and um, so I, I painted and stenciled and drew the little dots and dashes on that. This one I painted in red and stenciled in pink. This one I painted in pink and stenciled in red. It's not finished. And then this one I did a combination. And um, we're going to attach some little, I'm not sure if it's going to be jute or what, but these are going to look like a whole collection of little balloons that are all together with long, the long balloon tails. So that's something I have coming up. I'm still working on my braided chenille hearts, but I'll do that next week. Um, Don Donetta says that she would like the red one. I mean, these are super cute and they're so easy. So, so easy. So, um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you liked the project. And I will let you know tomorrow who will be the winner. I'll also get rid of all those glue strings on there uh, before I send it in the mail. Um, I might add some ribbons in between. I don't know. It will look different when it's, you know, hanging straight on um, either a piece of furniture over a mirror. Um, it won't look like it's all lumped together uh, like it does there. But anyways, cute idea for my large hearts. Well, I just think, again, I'm in love with these pins, and I'd be glad to get you a link if you want. But look how much cuter the project is just with the dots and dashes on it. Look how adorable this piece is. And this piece is a ton cuter too. So, yeah. Okay, pretend like you haven't seen these when I actually do this project and pretend like it's all new and fresh. Um, large hearts look good 
like the palette one. Thank you. Yeah. So I really just wanted to give you this idea that you can create a banner using some sheet music, scrap of paper, book pages, and some paper bags, and then all the other fun little doodads. And um, it can cost you almost nothing. I have, let's see, I have $1 worth of, not even $1, what, uh, like 80 cents worth of the little wood pieces. And the rest of it is pretty much free or almost nothing. Okie dokie. Do with this or this or say something in the comments. Check up here to see if you've liked and followed DIY Dreaming. I purchased all those hearts, the wood hearts, the small and big ones at, at uh, Dollar Tree. Um, Oh, Phil, do it this or this or say something in the comments and check to see if you've liked and followed DIY Dreaming and um, all of those things. While they don't guarantee that Facebook will serve you my content, they do seem to increase the odds a little bit. I don't know. It's all still a mystery to me. Oops, where am I? Um, but I have lots of good stuff coming up, so I'd love for you to join me. And um, did I use the... Yes, I did. I Okay, let me give you one more peek. I'm going to answer this question. Did I use the Mandela lace stencil on these hearts? Yes, I did. This is pink with a red Mandela lace stencil on it, and I'm going to do something else. Uh, this one is, wait, this one is pink with a red stencil on it, and this one is red with the pink stencil on it. I like this color combination of red, pink, and this sort of turquoise color. They're not, it's not really a traditional combination of colors for Valentine's, but um, I think it's great. Oh, and let's see. Carla Jean Farley says that she joined my monthly craft club. Yay, I'm so glad. You will get the project from this month. Uh, if you haven't already, and it was this adorable little wood sign with this truck, and then I embellished mine with a little bit of faux flowers, but this truck is super cute. You'll love this month's kit, and every month it's something different, and uh, always really good. Good choices, and you can use those stencils, uh, and the medium, they come in these little packets that look like this. They go a long ways and you can do more projects with your medium as well. So it's a good way to start building your craft closet and do it at a, a great price, which is $19.99 plus your local sales tax and a flat $5 shipping fee. Okie dokie. I'll see you guys. Probably not again today because I'm not quite ready, but for sure tomorrow. So have a blessed day rest of your day. Thanks for joining me and I'll, I'll see you guys soon. And look for pictures of this project on, um, in these comments as well as just at DIY Dreaming. Okay, see you later.